Hi folks, welcome to the shop. It's a rainy Saturday here, so I thought I'd uh, do a little work on the, the steam engine project I've been telling you about, teasing you. This is going to be a, a steam chest, basically, with a uh, spool valve in it. It's six inches long. I built a pair of them. This is the other one. I've got it kind of laid out. And um, I've got a line bore it, okay, and I'm using a four jaw chuck set up, mic'd in, uh, indicated in, and then I'm using the tail stock to bore a pilot hole and then a larger hole and then I ream it. Well, the issue I've been having is, you know, it's a, it's a deep hole, so I've, I've got to clear the chip, so it's a lot of loosening the tail stock, backing it out, and uh, clearing the chips, lubing up the, the, the bit and putting it back in. Well, it brought a brought an issue to attention and that's the amount of force I have to use to tighten the tailstock. I thought it was excessive uh, and it required me taking the wrench off the nut that tightens the tailstock and then tightening it again. When I loosen it I had to do it twice. I know it's a, a little thing but if you do it enough it, it can be a pain in a bun. So what I did initially is I said well, let me take the plate off the bottom of the tailstock. So I did that still in frame yeah and uh, I went and I took a three-cornered file and I just filed a couple of you know a, a dozen slots on each side put it back on and tried it and it helped significantly but it still I had to put too much torque on so then what I did is I went and I got a, a three uh, uh, a 60 grit diamond file or actually it's a 40 grit diamond file and I just very lightly scuffed up the surface okay now, some of you purists out there might not like that idea, but uh, I tell you what, I'd rather have this with a, a, a surface that can grab the underside of the bed rather than break this with excessive uh, torque on the nut. And I tell you what, I put it back together and what a difference. Now, with an eighth of a turn of the wrench on the tailstock, this being loose, I can tighten it to here an eighth of a turn and it's rock solid. Uh, loosening it, an eighth of a turn back and I can slide the tailstock. So if you've got an older lathe and you experience an issue like that where you think you're over torquing the, uh, the nut on the tailstock, give this a shot. Uh, it worked for me and maybe it'll work for you. So we're gonna get back at it here. Just a quick tip. Thanks for stopping in. And uh, in a few days I should have another video of the, the completed, at least the cylinders with the, with the uh, steam chest and the spool valves. So, back to it. Thanks for stopping. Have a great day.